You never know where a wolf will strike. It runs off in one direction, then attacks from another. Out of respect, we Mongols don't say wolf out loud. We call it by its secret names. Shaggy Head, Caterpillar, King of the Mountain. The alpha female is the brains of the pack. We killed a young wolf, but the alpha female took her cubs. She adopted them like a human being would. The wolves came back last night, dragged a colt right out of the pen. An alpha male. Big paws. This is one big bad wolf. He's smarter than most men. He's always a step ahead of me. I will hunt down this wolf and his cubs and sell their skins. Oh, really? With that old gun? You expect him to be just sitting around waiting? Too far away from my 22. I need a big rifle. One with longer range. We need to disinfect the cattle to kill the parasites. To kill the parasites, we need to throw the animals into a disinfectant bath. Prices have really gone up this year. We need more money. This summer, we survived thanks to our dairy surplus. We made some money selling cream and butter. 
But we spend it all buying food, tea, tobacco. We won't survive another bad winter like the last one. And to make things worse, these wolves are following us. It's become more difficult to survive as a nomad. Winter storms cut down our herds every few years. We've lost too many animals. At least these wolf skins will bring in some extra cash. The Chinese use wolf parts in their traditional medicine. Wolf meat has become more expensive than mutton. If I capture these wolf cubs, I can sell them this winter. I'll make back money to replace my lost sheep.
In mid-September, we start moving towards our winter grounds. We make short migrations called otr, so our animals can make the most out of the pastures and put on fat before the winter. Storing fat will make the difference between life or death out here for both animals and men. I really need to replace the animals I've lost. But raising these wolf cubs for Chinese butchers just doesn't seem right. A predator even more dangerous than the wolf has come to these steps. The two-legged wolf is worse than the four-legged one. The four-legged wolf may kill sheep and goats, but the two-legged man-wolf devours his own mother earth. Mining companies were drilling over there last time. Now they show up here, on our pastures. There's a kind of grass here that we don't find anywhere else. Good for fattening up the newborn animals. This has been our ancestral right since nine generations. They're offering us $30,000 to go find other pastures. Maybe we should take the money. They pay cash. You're free to do whatever you want. You can sell your share of animals, move to town. You can even go live abroad. You're an adult. You can sell the animals we've worked so hard to raise. I've seen it before. You'll spend everything in a few months and come crawling back without a penny in your pocket. The neighbor's son got a job in a factory. Over there, in a woodmill in Selenge province. Byrus' son went to work in the city after his military service. It's never been easy to make a living as a shepherd. During the communist period, we learned the real meaning of work. Just like in the army. Discipline and punctuality, always ready for action. Yeah, we'll never make enough money like this. <laughs>